Good morning, everybody. It's the uh, it's the end of August already. I cannot believe it. Tomorrow is September, and uh, boy, what a it's amazing. I just can't believe. I guess the older you get, the faster the time goes by. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're getting out about a little early today. I was out yesterday. Met with uh met with a couple of people. It was so freaking hot. What a mess. So I'm trying to beat the heat, so to speak. And uh, let's see what uh, let's see what turns up. I have some plans in mind, and we're just gonna see if they can come to uh, fruition. All right, I'll be back. I got a, a a message from a woman that said that she went by Greater Works and couldn't find Buford, and he said he was moving. And he said between these two trees, and I clearly see what he's talking about. This is where Jonathan used to stay. He was here a good month before he had got asked to leave. So I'm going to go talk to him. There's his car, clear as day, right in front of us. All right, I'm going to get out and see if he uh, could use some help. How's it going, Buford? Yeah. Where's your neck fan? Do you want to use it? No, I'm going to use it. I just forgot how about it. Okay. You don't have what? I just forgot how about it. Oh, no. That's fine. Um, how you doing on food, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I sure appreciate you. All right. Uh, all that stuff. I sure appreciate it. All right. Well, what can I do for you today? I use some ice. You could use some ice? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can make that happen. I appreciate it. All right. I get a little in bad mood sometimes. The situation that I'm in. I'm sorry? I get a cranky, cranky bad mood. <laughs> Getting a cranky bad mood. Yeah, I know, I know how that goes. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me run across the street there, grab a sack of ice, and, uh, you know, obviously for your cooler and whatnot. But you don't have any food or anything, you know, with you. No. Have you eaten today? I had some muffins. You had some muffins? Okay. Would you like a lunch? Yeah. All right. Well, I have those. What about in the meantime? I have some. Uh, I have some Dr. Peppers and some Coca Colas. You know. Would you like a drink or some water? I have the electrolyte packs. I got plenty of water. Isn't it? I can't hear you, sir. I got orange juice uh, or something like that. I got plenty of water. Orange juice and stuff like that would be fine. Gatorade, stuff like that would be fine. You got a Gatorade in, in your cooler? Yeah, I know. I said I, I, some more would be fine. Uh, well, how about I get you the one that you have? Okay. You want? Me, would you like me to get it for you? Yeah. All right, I can do that. Mew, Buford, I, I'm sorry, I, I cannot hear you. You, you, you talk very softly. I, said, I get a little edgy and snappy sometimes, and grumpy sometimes. The situation that I'm in. Okay, well, here's the Gatorade. I brought you this quite a while ago. It. It's been in your cooler for quite some time. Yeah. You got a monster, you got all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah. But uh, let me go get your bag of ice, and I'll be right back. Now that I know where you're at, I know this spot very well. I'm here basically almost every day. Are you? So, yeah. Who used to stay here? Who who to stay here? Who used to stay here? Oh, all right. Okay. Well, I guess. Um, right up here was a a spot where there was 35 people that were removed by code enforcement. I don't know if you know anything about that, but well, I can remember about seven months ago this guy. In well, sir, sit right here in the shade. Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's who you're talking about. That's who exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah. He had an air mattress right here. He had a cooler. He had some bicycles. No legs. No legs. Yeah, yeah I know him. I saw him many times. I feel like he's talking about. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess. You know. All right. Let me go get you a bag of ice. I'll be right back. Thank you, sir. It's all good. Appreciate it. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, well, when it starts getting high, you might want to get that fan on. You know. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to 
money. How are you going to charge your stuff now? McDonald's. McDonald's? All right. I'll be right back. Thank you, man. You're welcome. All right, guys. I just got a view for the bag of ice. <laughs> Problem is, is that uh, I said the spot he's in is where uh, Jonathan used to be. It's not Jonathan at all. It's Ronald. And uh, I'm going to let him know because <laughs> he might be confused on that. But I got his, uh, I got his ice. Let's make it happen. Sounds good. All right, I'm sorry. What'd you say, Buford? Yeah, man, you got yeah me too. No doubt. Hey, when I said uh, a Jonathan used to be here, it's not Jonathan that was in the wheelchair. Ronald. Yeah, that's Ronald. But I got your ice. I had to go to. Appreciate it. Yeah. You, uh, I'll go throw it in there. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right. You want that lunch, right? All right. I'll set you up right now. Thank you. Here you go, yeah. young man. Well, it's not easy to, you know, stay in a good mood. You know. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's hard to remain in good spirits, especially when it gets hot and miserable, and you, you know, you can't eat, you can't do, you know, a lot of the things you'd like to do. But uh, I sure appreciate it. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, sir. Let me, uh, I'm going to put that ice on your cooler. Okay. You know what? I got a garbage bag for you. I see it. That's good. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. There's a ton of empties in here. Okay. All it's really doing is taking up space. But you always got the little bag. So the, the ice bag I have isn't big enough? Uh, not big a bag that way. It's like a nice long or same color. Right. So these bags aren't good enough. They're good enough, but they're way too small and don't last long. Alright. Well they were fresh out of the hundred pound bags. I'm not trying to be picky at this. No, it's it's, it's exactly what you're doing. Uh, you know, good. let's be honest. You know, it doesn't seem like anything that I or my friends have done for you is good enough. You seem to be really uh, disgruntled with my with my help. I'm just going to lay it out there. I'm going to tell you the truth. You appreciate honesty, don't you? Oh, yeah. But, All right. Well, like I say, I appreciate everything. But the situation I'm in, I get aggressive and hate something. But I cannot help. I can't help it. Okay. Well, no, that's understandable, but... You gotta understand, this is voluntary for me. You know, I do this in my spare time. This isn't my job, you know. But it's, I feel it's my responsibility to try to help you out. You know, if we don't see eye to eye, that's great. If you don't want me to come visit you anymore, you know, that's fine too. You know, it's entirely up to you. I, I, I'm not saying that, I'm just doing things my way. Right. Well, that's fantastic. You know, I understand that. But, uh, well, I could go on about this, but it's not going to get us any further. Anyways, uh, all right. Boy, I'm not sure what else I can say. I'm kind of disappointed. You know, I will say, you know, this is about the sixth or seventh time that I've come to visit you, and you said I'm I'm the only one that helps you, and this and that, and then all of a sudden now it's like, oh, you need two bags of ice, and you know I'm not I'm not doing this correctly, and it's like, did I put the cooler in your car correctly? You know, I'm a little taken back by that. You know, but uh, all right, well, I'm sure you might be here for a while until you get uh get in trouble. You're used to doing things your way and the way you want. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to be honest. How has that been working out? Not to be rude, but it's just like, look, you know, 
you know, you had to get your car towed here because they they asked you to leave earlier, right? Money I can't afford, money I didn't have. I had to do it anyway. Well, yeah, but if you can't stay there, what they're going to do is they're going to tow your car and arrest you. You know that. That's why I got me a little bit angry at that too. Okay, me walk around. Well, you don't got to be angry at me because I offered you some ice and I didn't get the hundred-pound bag. Well, I'm not angry at you. It's just, it's just what I get sometimes. What I'm trying to tell you. I well, I understand that, but you know, of course, the hundred-pound, you know, hundred-pound bag will last longer. But it's just, it's just not the way it is. You know, it's it sits there. You got you got ten empty. Let me get you that garbage bag. You got to you got to do some housekeeping. Would that be something you'd be interested in as a garbage bag? I got garbage bags. You have garbage bags? Garbage bags. Okay. And, and my car. Yeah. All right. Well. You can't help the way you feel the way I can't help the way I feel. No, I feel fine. My question is, is do you want me to continue to help you when I can? Yeah. All right. So. The bags of ice that I do get, because they don't sell the giant bags anywhere near me, you know. Then if I get two, it's 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 a complete ripoff. It's three bucks a bag. Well, I didn't know that. Well, I'm just letting you know it's three dollars a bag. I didn't know that. Right. And every time you go to McDonald's to charge your stuff, what are you charging first? Are you charging your phone? My phone. Uh, so you're not charging that battery, which would charge your phone? I can get it take a long time to charge up that big old thing you gave me, but I think I'm not using it. Well, here's the idea behind the battery. If the battery is charged, you can charge everything else that you have. All right, so charge the battery. You know, you've got several cables, right? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we might have to agree to disagree, but all right, I'll come by in a couple of days, you know, check on you. Yeah. You might be here, maybe not. Hard to say. But all right. Well, good luck to you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, you too. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh. Yeah. I've done that before. It drove off with my trunk open. Yeah, not a problem. But, uh, all right. The way I get it. Well, it seems to be a little more frequent the last several times that I've been talking to you than it has been, you know, the first few times. You know, and I can understand completely the fact that, you know, you're upset with the situation and things are, you know, not going good and, you know, you're elderly and, you know, this shit sucks. I totally get it. But it's just, uh, you know, I don't know what else I can do for you. You know. Give me a favor. What's that? If I say something, keep it to yourself. All right. Okay. And angry because she lied to me about everything. Yeah. Well, that is what you would typically call a scam. You know, it's just they get what you, the, what they want out of you. And then, you know, it's game over. You know, see you later. Moving on to the next target. I'm trying to think. You've been having me out. You take me to the bank. I need to do something about the paper. Yeah. She takes you to the bank. But I'm sure she wants... Is this the person you told me about the other day without even saying it is that she wanted $20 for gas? Well, I gave her $20 for gas. I had mail for gas. Right. To go two miles. And she, if she's a friend, she's not going to charge you to help you out. So, no, I get it. Well, Just, uh, I get it. you know, if somebody comes up and tries to be sweet to you, you know, <laughs> it's buyer beware, man. Be careful. I kind of got on the edge, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll put you on the edge. You know, every everybody you talk to seems to be, like, trying to rip you off. You know, I'm not here to do that. You know, I've got thousands of people that help support me. No, not thousands. That well, they do by watching. I'm not trying to take anything on you. 
I think Matt always thinks something. Yeah, well, it, it starts to build up and you get angry. You know, I get it. You know, I sit up at night, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'll be wondering, why did I say this, or why did I do that in a video? And and then if I did, why did I why did I put it live? You know, why did I put it for people to see if I didn't like what I said, but I thought I was trying to prove a point? Well, she told me not to tell nobody and stuff like that. But my guess is, she, she, I think in a way, she's a used man somehow. Well... Don't be breaking out your bank card and all this other business. Well, I'm not. I got everything I control. All right. Well, then I would uh, I would ignore this situation, but you know. Well, I need somebody to take me to the bank every month. Go pay my insurance. Pay, go ahead and pay other things. Other things I got to do. Sure. Right now, she don't want. I got to do that. Lately. Well, I will say this. In my opinion. Doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense to pay for insurance when the car does not move. Well, to you it don't, but me it does. Oh, and why would you say that? Because, because uh, if I get me another car, I got to start back over again. I'm not going to start back over again. That's true. That's a good point. Pay insurance. I got to check that on that and off that and do nothing that makes more sense to me. Okay. No, no, you're right. No, that does make sense. I don't know why. Yeah. People try to put a liability and I'm not in the woman over her name, Tammy. She had her car out and towed her car out. The intern will not give her another car. Okay. She got liability. I got four coats on my car every car I had. Well, if that was the case, if you got full coverage, your towing should have been free when you got a tow the other day. That's free towing, full coverage. I don't know a whole lot about doing stuff like that. Well, you're paying for it. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, that's what I'm trying to say is you're paying for it. You know, and that's a big chunk. That's a big chunk out of your check, I would imagine. I don't know a whole lot of stuff about that. People are like to joke with me about my car and stuff like that. And then in the mansion out there and blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah, I got you. All right. Well, then I'll check on you a couple days. And uh, what you told me will be in total privacy, I promise you. And uh, I guess we'll go from there, sir. But now you'll have cold drinks for a bit. Appreciate and uh, you got a nice fresh lunch, turkey and cheese sandwich. Appreciate some it. snacks in there, beef jerky. Appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I, I try not to be so snappy at the end. It's hard. I, I understand. No, it's completely difficult when you're, you're, you're in this situation. You're a good yeah. man. You and your friend, yeah. too. Better for him to help me out, too, by the yeah. way. All right, give me some. It's good to see you, young man. All right, good to see you again. Sure, appreciate it. All right, well, now that I know where you're at, I'm here, I'm here more often than I am, you know, five miles away. Okay. Because this is, uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people in this particular area. So, especially Ronald that lived here. I my car I know please won't bother me, won't run me out. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a, this is a good spot. You know, you got a lot of shade. Yeah. Use a part right here, night time. Yeah. Night time to sleep. All right. I know very pretty good. I don't know about anybody. Good. Yeah, people are pretty decent in this area, from what I understand. It's kind of hard to get a good spirit to calm down and stuff like that. It's yeah. Reason, hey, there's a chocolate milk in there. Okay. A yoo -hoo. You know, if you want to have with your snacks, it's still cold. So, but, uh, well, yeah. No, I can get that for you. Gonna break out the yoo-hoo. Rebecca got these a while back. Sure, appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I got a bug in my face. Here you go, young man. Appreciate it. Gonna stab the top. I try to be real nice. nice. Yeah. Well, you get, you know, your calcium and, you know, vitamin C and that type of deal. You know. All right. Then I will let you to your business. You know, you got a good spot, though. Right underneath a big-ass tree. So. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. All right. I'll be back. I'll see you soon. I sure appreciate it. No, you're very welcome. It's just that, 
it kind of sounded like we were getting on the wrong page a little bit. So now that I know more little information, I can work with you easier. Good. Less stress. It's nice to see you smile. I haven't seen that in a while. A smile for a while. Here you go. See, see my card. See the smiley faces. Okay. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. Get some smiles. So, all right, Buford. You have a great day, sir. I'll be back soon to help you out. You have a good day, Dapper. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Well, now that now that uh, you know, we've kind of maybe aired our differences a little bit. Yeah, you know, I feel better. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. All right, you have a good day. Okay, you take care. Good to see you. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do the knuckles and then we'll do a shake. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I right, see you, buddy. All right, you, you be safe. Thank you. Nobody mess up. You still got that can of mace I gave you, or the pepper spray? All right. Keep it on hand. You never know. All right, sir. You're welcome. Oh boy. I'm going to be 100% forthcoming and fruitful and honest about this. It almost kind of seemed like our relationship was going south. He didn't seem to be very appreciative, you know, for any of the help. And, you know, I, I completely get it. The man's living on a 100 degree temperature in his car. But I guess at the same time, it just hit me the wrong way. So hopefully we're back on track. I'm going to hopefully get to to you tonight, guys. That's the deal. Labor Day weekend. That's the story.